Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about another workbook that you can get on a Amazon for extra practice. This one talks about syllables. It starts out with, uh, well it shows you about dyslexia and tells you about what a syllable is, about letter sounds, uh, vowels and consonants, and then it gets into syllable types. So it'll tell you all the different syllable types that you're gonna use when reading. These are the most, uh, most useful ones. And then it starts with simple syllable division rules. As you practice syllable division on your own with two syllable words first, and then gets into three syllables and ends up more three syllables and then ends up in four syllables with more complicated words. And then it has you practice open and closed syllables and then bossy R, magic E syllables, consonant L E, vowel team. So you can just practice and know the difference. And then it has you practice counting syllables and multi-syllable words. And you can practice more syllable splitting. These are animals. And then you can draw a picture for comprehension of what those animals are and write them. Practice writing. There's a little game to practice your different types of syllables. more games and a maze to practice your syllables. These are two syllable words so you start out with the beginning syllable and you have to make your way to the ending syllable. And then we've got stories with all of the multi-syllable words broken up into their syllables so that you can see as you're reading how to break those apart. We've got bingo games that you can practice your different syllable types. And a word hunt. <clears throat> and some crossword puzzles with uh, different types of different types of syllables. Crossword search with L E syllable. Or the, what's the vowel teams here? Uh, compound words, which is building two words into one longer word. Can barely see the answer here and just trace to also practicing your handwriting skills so they'll be nice and neat. Now, this gets more complicated. Uh, this book, like I said, starts out easier and it gets more complicated as you go. So by the time you get here, depending on where you are in your video learning, uh, you may or may not be able to decode these stories. So if you need an adult to help you read the story, that's fine. You can decode the words that you know on your own and then get an adult to help you with the ones that you don't and then come over here and fill out the comprehension questions so that you can practice understanding what either you have read or what has been read to you. Now, if you're farther along in the program, you may, at this point, you may be able to read this by yourself, but if you can't, it's okay. Just get an adult, read what you know, let them read what you don't. What's important is that we're learning to comprehend the things that we both read and the things that are read to us. And we have story starters. So you can start writing your own stories. These give you ideas. These pictures give you ideas of things to write about. And then we've got colors and a coloring. You've got the different colors so you can spell your colors or you know how the colors are spelt and then some coloring pages. So whatever colors you 
choose to use is just write the names of those colors at the bottom when you're done. Word scramble for your different types of syllables. And then tic-tac-toe for the different syllable types. So lots of things to practice in this book so that you have full comprehension on syllables, what they are, how to use them, how to split them apart. And learning your syllables well are just going to help, help you read the harder texts easier. So practice with that. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description of where you can purchase this book. And I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.